Hi, I'm Corey Glenn, and I'm the technical director here at Nixa High School in Nixa, Missouri. Hi, I'm Lakin Wools, and I teach theater at Nixa High School. Hi, I'm Allison Fleetwood, and I'm the head of the theater department here at Nixa High School. The new performing arts center is called the Atos, and Atos is Greek for eagle. And since we're the Nixa Eagles, they wanted a name that tied into the school, but also tied into the fact that it was an arts space. As artists, we tie a good portion of what we do back to ancient Greece. The new space will have two levels. So on the main level, it'll be 600 seats, and in the balcony, it'll be 500 seats for a total of 1,100. Some significant upgrades to this new space as compared to the old space is our lighting is going to be 100% LED. The majority of them are also color changing, so we won't have to change gels. The ability to run without a dimmer rack or a dimmer room takes one more element out of the troubleshooting process, and it gives us lighting fixtures that just have a lot more capability. We're also getting a brand new audio rig tuned for the room that it's going to be in. The actual stage will be considerably larger. There's also a proscenium that can change size. It'll go from 40 feet to 55 feet, depending on what our needs might be. Other improvements will be things that probably the audience doesn't notice, but access, conduit to the places we need conduit, electrical runs in places we need electrical runs, DMX everywhere, ethernet everywhere. The ability to run a show from multiple positions or to hook in multiple different pieces of gear in different parts of the stage because there will be access there. We have selected our shows for next year. The first show is going to be Catch Me If You Can, and it will be at the junior high. The second show we're going to do is going to open the new space, and it's going to happen the fourth week of March, and it's going to be SpongeBob. And then we're going to close with Harvey. All three of us are involved in every show. If one of us is directing, I'm usually technical directing, and the person who's off will be maybe heading up costumes or making sure our publicity is right or heading up props or whatever we, whatever other thing we might need. We're all three involved in every show for sure, but typically I'll take the role of technical director unless I'm directing, then one of them will help me with that role. Otherwise we, you know, trade off and do whatever needs to be done. I have been teaching at Nixa High School for the past 14 years and since that time I have seen lots of growth in our interest of our community. Our community has always been very supportive of our theater department. I have been asking for additional classes and additional staff and then the fall of 2021 we were able to add an additional theater teacher. So myself as the head of the department, Miss Lakin Wools as a additional director and teacher and then Mr. Corey Glenn who runs our tech department and also does some directing as well. Adding that additional person has just opened up so many doors for us as we add this new facility. There is opportunity for additional shows to be produced and with additional shows we need more more staff. Even just adding one person we've added more classes. We now have a dance class and a costume props makeup class that is separate from our stagecraft class. These classes they are immediately packed full. I do have a vision of community theater bringing it back to Nixa and hopefully with this new facility that is also going to give an opportunity to the community to support theater in a way that is is different than the educational theater world that we've been living in so far.